हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सॉल्व्ड फोर इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी एंड गेन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी एंड वी हैव सॉल्व्ड फोर प्रॉब्लम्स इन दैट वीडियो व्हिच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वंस एनी वन ऑफ देम और टू ऑफ देम यू कैन बी एक्सपेक्टिंग फॉर द एग्जाम्स डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स ओके so those have not seen that video please go and watch it in that i have solved four important problems which is very very important okay yeah so we have few concepts left in this module 4 now till now whatever we have discussed are all the basics with respect to the dipole that is a short electric dipole radiation resistance involved in that point sources power pattern power theorem and directivity and uh, uh, not directivity radiation intensity and problems on that so now we are going to be studying about point sources but if you take two point sources at the, at the same time what would be the impact on the field electric field or any field that we are going to be discussing in this video now okay so concept is arrays of two isotropic point sources okay they have mentioned the word isotropic point sources so it is clear that whatever the antenna or dipole we are using is isotropic in nature okay yeah so under this we are having two cases here so with respect to case 1 we are going to draw one uh, antenna pattern okay with respect to whatever we are concluding this video so that is the first case we have multiple cases to be discussed that one by one you are going to discuss in the upcoming videos okay so the first case is point sources of same amplitude and the same phase okay so here we should be considering the two point sources as mentioned in this plot here i have considered two point sources one is source 1 and source 2 it would be having same amplitude and same phase when we have same amplitude same phase what are the conclusions which are obtained let us see it now one by one okay so here two point sources are kept each have each has the distance of d by 2 and the total distance is given given by d and here this uh, angle is called as this is the radial distance r and here this part is called as dr cos phi by 2 okay where uh, this is the phi angle which is taking place from here and this is the theta angle with respect to the pattern produced okay so this figure shows two point sources separated by distance d okay so here this is happening inside the field pattern with respect to angle psi that is we are having two angles psi by 2 psi by 2 with respect to the electric field and the this is given by the field of source 1 this this is field of source 1 and this is the field of source 2 with respect to the two point sources as mentioned here okay yeah so now we see here let the two sources be separated by distance d located symmetrically with respect to origin okay so at the distance distant point p in the direction phi the field from source 2 is retarded by the factor of dr cos phi by 2 and it is given by e not e to the power j psi by 2 where this angle psi is equal to dr cos phi and this dr component d suffix r okay d suffix r that is the distance that is equal to the factor of beta d okay it is the beta distance and this e not is the amplitude yeah so now field from source 1 is advanced by the factor of e not e to the power j psi by 2 so therefore the total electric field how it is given by total electric field it is given by since we are having two point sources so it would be moving in opposite direction with respect to the electric field generate, generated so we should be following the concept of vector addition so it would be the total electric field in two direction with respect to two point sources would be looking like e not e to the power minus j psi by 2 plus e not e to the power j psi by 2 because in the case they have mentioned that it is consisting of equal amplitude e not and equal phase psi by 2 so here in both the cases amplitudes and phases are equal okay so the total uh, electric field would be looking something like this so now e is equal to e not is common here take it outside we are left with e to the power j psi by 2 plus e to the power minus j psi by 2 now what i am doing i am multiplying and dividing by 2 here so that we would be getting this in this form and we know that e to the power 
j theta plus e to the power minus j theta divided by 2 is equal to cos theta right so that trigonometric uh, function i am using it here you see here if you multiply and divide by 2 we would be left with 2 e naught into e to the power j psi by 2 plus e to the power minus j psi by 2 divided by 2 so that is replaced by cos psi by 2 okay so now 2 e naught cos we know that psi is written as dr cos phi so that i have replaced it dr d suffix r cos phi by 2 so now what i am doing is i am i want to neglect this uh, amplitude part because that is a constant value right it has some constant value so now in order to uh, neglect that i am normalizing it i am doing the normalization so that this complete term would be equal to 1 and this would be cancelled out so now our uh, total electric field would be looking like e is equal to cos of dr cos phi by 2 okay so this equation you name it as equation 1 now now you see here assume assume d to be equal to lambda by 2 now that is half the wavelength now if we do this what are the changes you observe here you see it now so if we take d is equal to lambda by 2 then uh, beta d would be looking like 2 pi by uh, beta d that is a uh, beta can be replaced by 2 pi by lambda and d is equal to lambda by 2 so beta d would be equal to 2 2 gets cancelled lambda gets cancelled it, it will be left with only pi here okay so now you see here uh, e is equal to the electric field e would be equal to cos pi by 2 cos phi okay why because here we have the we, he, we, we had the component of dr right so that we have kept it here dr and we have replaced it by lambda 2 and we have seen that B, dr equal to beta d that is equal to pi okay so what i have done i have replaced the component dr would be equal to pi so it would be cos pi by 2 cos phi okay so this uh, this is a new equation you name it as equation 2 now you see here we should be uh, in order to draw the field pattern you should be having uh, three conditions here with respect to this uh, whatever we have got the electric field so what what considering what equations let us consider now so first is to find maximum of the array set argument of equation 2 to plus or minus k pi argument means it is the one set of a limit which you would be giving so that it would be clear that at what angle you would be drawing the pattern okay so that's why argument is called as that uh, factor so we have used the word argument so argument of equation 2 to plus or minus k pi so if we set the set it to plus or minus k pi what it would be that is whatever the pi by 2 cos phi term that is one angle term so this is the angle term right so that i am equating it to plus or minus k pi so here pi gets cancelled so we would be left with phi is equal to cos inverse of 2 you bring it to other side plus or minus 2k okay so for check for different values of k so for instance i am considering only one value that is because i am drawing with respect to origin right because uh, in this also we have kept it in the line of origin so that's why you should be considering the value of k only to be equal to 0 okay so that's why for k equal to 0 it would be 2 into 0 so it would be cos inverse of 0 right cos inverse of 0 can be written as pi by 2 comma 3 pi by 2 so cos inverse of 0 is 1 that is a plus or minus 1 pi by 2 comma 3 pi by 2 that is the maximum phi value now for the minimum phi value set argument of equation 2 to the limit of plus or minus 2k plus 1 into pi by 2 okay so this for this for this limit you set it for minimum and check for the value of phi naught equate it with pi by 2 cos phi okay if you equate it we will be getting the answer as so you see i have not done it i'll do it here pi by 2 cos phi is equal to 2k plus 1 pi by 2 okay plus or minus so here pi by 2 get, gets cancelled so we are left with phi is equal to cos inverse of plus or minus 2k plus 1 right so that only i have written it here okay so now here just substitute the value of k that is uh, 0 2 into 0 plus 1 that is 2 plus or minus
plus or minus 1 2 into 0 0 0 plus 1 1 so we are having cos inverse of plus or minus 1 so cos inverse of 1 is 0 and cos inverse of minus 1 is pi okay so the minimum values with respect to phi is given by the angle phi naught that is equal to 0 comma pi so now to find the half power directions half power directions means in order to complete the field pattern we should be knowing the half power in which the one set of pattern will be getting terminated okay in both positive and negative directions so that's why we require the quantity of half power so for that half power directions of the array equate the argument of 2 that is whatever the argument 2 which is generated to plus or minus 2k plus 1 pi by 4 okay that is because uh, we are dividing it by 2 that's why you should be uh, changing the angle to pi by 4 okay so that's why if you solve it you would be getting the answer as uh, phi is equal to cos inverse of 2k plus 1 by 2 substitute the value of k equal to 0 it would be 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 okay so cos inverse of half is uh, 60 degree and cos inverse of uh, minus half is 120 degree okay so we would be getting the three values for the phi that is one is phi max is there are two values pi by 2 comma 3 pi by 2 minimum is 0 comma pi and for half power it is not plus or minus 60 and 120 okay so with respect to these three angles we should be drawing the field pattern so you see here starting from 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 where uh, I have kept the two point sources here okay so with respect to the origin I am drawing the field pattern with an angle of 60 degree and 120 degree it would be somehow looking like number 8 okay and uh, these are the angles generated at all the four points with respect to origin join it and draw it and uh, the angles are this is the angle phi and uh, this is the angle theta which is generated okay so this is the final field pattern at case 1 when we have equal amplitude and equal phase the pattern would be somehow looking like this okay yeah so this pattern you need to be noting it down this is very important please note it down and uh, this video this uh, notes i'm going to put it in the video's description also so that uh, you won't be having any doubts uh, read it once and try to understand it okay yeah so that's all for the video guys we'll see with the some more cases in the next video in the module 4 and uh, that's always subscribe to our channel support us thank you